my grandmother's dream, her entire life, was to go to the Grand Ole Opry. Never made it until the first time I played the Opry, and she was there. And that was the last time I saw her. She passed shortly thereafter. So the Opry for me has a different, not only is it special for the history of the Opry and how magical and mystical that is, but the fact that that's the last time I saw my grandmother from stage. And every time I walk on this stage, because of that, it's a, it's a way, way, way more mystical and magical thing for me. You know, I'm up there and I feel that. I can still look to that seat now, no matter who's in it. When I play the Opry, I played it a hundred times. And I'm still, I still feel that. I was singing to you, you were singing to me. I was so alive, never been more free. Fight up my daddy's lighter and we sang home. Stayed out of their forced south. The Opry, it's that element of family, it's that element of familiarity, of American culture, of the fabric of what makes us who we are. You know, I think that for me, the Grand Ole Opry is one of the colors in that fabric.